During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about something that happens in plants late in the season. It's called cannibalization. Plants have one job, and that is to make seed so they can continue on. And when plants are running short of something, water, nutrients, sunlight, whatever it is, all they focus on is, I've got to make that seed. And what happens at the end of the season, a lot of times, is we see those plants cannibalize or pull nutrients from everywhere trying to make the seed. Okay, so what this is really all about is annual plants like corn or soybeans or wheat that we raise on our farm. They take those nutrients from all other parts of the plant, from the root, from the stalk, from the leaves, everywhere and that gets fed and pumped into that seed. So that's really what we're talking about here today. Okay, now you can actually see it even early in the season, especially if we're short of nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium in our plants. What they'll do is they will rob those nutrients from the lower leaves, bring it up to the newer growth, so they don't have to wait till the end of the year. If we're short of N, P, and K, now that doesn't mean there isn't plenty in the soil. There could be, but maybe there's some kind of restriction on root growth. So the roots just can't bring those nutrients in. They'll cannibalize from the lower part of the plant and bring it up. And what happens is we end up with a weakened plant. It's just like you and me. If we don't eat right, we end up being weakened. And then that's a better chance for disease to come in and hurt us. So we worry about that out in our cornfields and, and other crops, of course, if we see cannibalization happening early in the season. Well, even late in the season, I do have to worry about this a little bit. We'll just take corn, for example. We're standing in front of a cornfield right now that I am slightly concerned may go down in the fall, is usually what we say as farmers, because that stock isn't going to hold on to enough nutrients. It didn't get big enough early enough in the season. Okay, so now I've got to monitor that a little bit. And when the grain gets to a certain moisture and maybe even a little wetter than I want, I've got to get out here with the combine just to make sure I don't end up with any corn on the ground. You know, the highest yielding corn farmers will tell you the same thing other crop farmers will tell you. They'd prefer that crop to be green all the way right up to harvest. Like with corn, for example, they'd love to see a green corn plant with a brown husk and a dry ear. <laughs> that would be the ideal world, right? If we didn't have to cannibalize it all. Well, the, yeah, the reason why is then we know that's going to stand there. We know it's going to feed the ear as long as it possibly can. The odds are extremely high. We're going to be able to go harvest that and we don't have to worry about field loss. All right, so there's one thing you need to remember today. Plants are cannibals. They will cannibalize parts of the plant trying to make seed if it's an annual plant. Well, one weed we'd love to see cannibalize itself is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify it? 